joining us now from the State House is the Chairman of the Assembly Education Committee, Patrick Dignan. Assemblyman, good of you to join us. First of all, do you think that the Christie administration is making a good move on its position with virtual charters? Absolutely. I, I commend the Commissioner. Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves with virtual charters. Clearly, technology is changing. The, the whole concept of uh, education is changing, but, but virtual charters are really a revolutionary proposal, and I think we have to study it appropriately and, and put the proper safeguards in place. So, again, I commend the commissioner. He made the right decision. You have also been a very strong voice in favor of reforming the way the state regulates uh, the charter schools in general and the way they're allowed to do business. What, what is behind that move on your part? Well, you know, when charter schools were first proposed, actually it was Joe Doria that first proposed the charter school legislation. They were supposed to be incubators, uh, uh, you know, isolated schools to bring about innovative, creative ways to uh, come up with cooperative ventures for public schools. Now they are becoming much more prevalent. And we are all aware that there have been su some successful charter schools, some not successful ones. We're all probably familiar with the uh, debate that's going right now concerning the Adelaide Charter School in Newark. My whole purpose is to put in place st standards uh, that can be looked at objectively uh, on a consistent, transparent basis so people know what to expect and, and we can put uh, integrity and accountability into the system. Do you think that charter schools in general have improved the educational environment in the state? I don't think they have improved or, or not improved it. I think they are a good option. I am not anti-charter school. I think it, anything we can do to make the education system of the state of New Jersey vibrant uh, is, is a good thing. So you know, some have been successful, some aren't. I, I am one of those folks that think our public education in New Jersey K through 12 is exceptional. So I think charter schools are part of that exceptional system. And my whole purpose is to make the charter schools uh, a, a more valid, more secure, and more predictable. The Christie administration recently made the decision also to restore uh, some degree of independence to the school board in Newark. Do you think that's a wise move? Absolutely. I think we have to. You cannot have the school system apart from the people that it represents. I think we should, and all the schools that are under state uh, control should be put back under control of the communities as soon as possible. And you've also been outspoken. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, the story broke about uh, a substantial amount of money, somewhere in the neighborhood of $10 million, uh, being allocated from the state to uh, religious institutions. I think about half a million to the Princeton Theological Seminary. And, and the, the balance of that money, uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of $9.5 million, I believe it was, uh, to a, a yeshiva, a rabbinical college, in fact. There has been a great degree of, of controversy about that. I know you've spoken out on it as well. Uh, where do you, you want to go with that? Do you think there should be an investigation of that? I mean, you know, when we use the term investigation, there's an implication of some criminal activity. It's not criminal activity. It's really just a misappropriation of tax dollars. Uh, you know, the, the American society was based on separation of church and state. This particular rabbinical school is not a public school. Women aren't even allowed in the school. You aren't even allowed to date if you're attending the school. It's not what public dollars should be used for. You know, clearly... There isn't a consensus on overruling the decision in this particular case, but going forward, uh, future allocations, this type of institution should not be included. And before I let you go, a little bit of everything here today. The governor just announcing the uh, appointment of Attorney General Chiesa to be the uh, interim senator from the state of New Jersey and the call for special elections, of course, as well. Uh, first of all, reaction to the appointment of, of Attorney General Chiesa and also the, the, uh, to the idea of holding these special elections. Okay. I know Jeff. I've dealt with Jeff. He's an exceptional choice. I commend the governor an outstanding choice. As for the special election, the election should be on election day. You know, we don't want New Jersey to be known as the state that has two of everything. We don't need two elections. Uh, the governor should stand up to the plate, and the senatorial election should be the same day as the general election. Assemblyman, have to leave it there. Always a pleasure. Thank you for coming on, sir. Yeah, anytime, Mike. Nice talking to you.